Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the expert interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your Intel job interview. So if you have an interview coming up for any role within Intel, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I promise to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, I'll start off by giving you a list of interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with the example high scoring answers to those questions to help you succeed at the first attempt. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your Intel interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 25 great answers to Intel interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest Intel interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first Intel interview question to prepare for, which is tell me about yourself. This is your opening interview question. It may be phrased as introduce yourself. So this is a brilliant opportunity to get your interview off to a flying start and really impress the hiring manager. You can be the standout candidate by focusing your answer on the skills and qualities that you have. Do not talk about your home life or your personal life unless it's relevant to the job role. Make sure you do talk about your experience, your relevant past experience, and your passion for working in that particular job role within Intel. And don't forget to mention how you're going to add value to their company. How are you going to add value to Intel within this job role? Now, a really simple and easy way to do all of these things is to make sure you study that job description in detail and focus on telling the hiring manager how your skills are a perfect match to those that they desire. So for example, if on the job description, it states that they're seeking someone who is analytical with great attention to detail skills, or someone who has great communication abilities or great customer service skills, then throughout your Intel interview answers, be sure to use those exact terms and back it up with previous examples where you've demonstrated those skills and qualities in prior job roles or in academic settings. So let me now give you a brilliant top scoring answer to that interview question to make you the standout candidate. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for this opportunity to interview today. I am a committed and diligent software engineer with five years of experience eager to contribute to Intel's innovation-driven mission. My background includes delivering high-quality software solutions that enhance user experiences and drive business growth. I am a fast learner, commercially driven, and a strong collaborator. For example, in previous roles, I have been consistently recognized as a solid team player who supports team objectives. I take full responsibility for my professional development ensuring I maintain competence and operate efficiently. Joining Intel excites me as it aligns with my passion for pushing technological boundaries and creating impactful solutions on a global scale. Wow, what a powerful way to kickstart your interview and be that standout candidate. Remember, by giving a confident answer like this to that opening interview question, not only will you impress the hiring manager, but you'll also gain confidence in the rest of your interview answers to come. Okay, let's take a look at the next Intel interview question to prepare for, which is why do you want to work at Intel? This is a very common interview question to face and it's being asked because they want to gauge your motivation and ensure that your goals align with Intel's vision and culture. That's really important. So my top tip here is to make sure you connect your passion and your career goals with Intel's innovation, culture and impact on technology. Now, how do you do this? Well, let me give you a brilliant top scoring answer to show you exactly how you can do that. Why do you want to work at Intel? I want to work at Intel because it represents the pinnacle of technological innovation, driving the future of computing and connectivity. Intel's commitment to advancing technology aligns with my passion for creating impactful software solutions that shape the world. The opportunity to collaborate with some of the brightest minds in the industry engage in cutting edge projects and contribute to pioneering advancements excites me. Intel's emphasis on continuous learning and professional growth matches my dedication to maintaining and expanding my technical expertise. 
Joining Intel means being part of a global leader that not only values innovation, but also fosters a culture of diversity, inclusion, and sustainability, which are important to me personally and professionally. Now, don't go anywhere as I still have plenty more Intel interview questions and answers to give you in this video tutorial. But when you're ready, and only if you want to, please click that link in the top right hand corner of this video or in the pinned comment below the video. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my top 25 Intel interview questions and answers for all job roles within Intel to give you the edge in your interview. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. How do you keep up to speed with technology to do your job? Now, this question is being asked to assess your commitment to continuous learning and staying current with industry trends. So make sure you mention specific resources and methods that you use to stay updated, demonstrating proactive learning and adaptability. Both of those are so important, proactive learning and adaptability. Technology is ever-changing, so you need to be adaptable and you need to stay proactive on learning the new trends in technology. Okay, here's my brilliant top scoring answer to help you. How do you keep up to speed with technology to do your job? I stay up to speed with technology by actively engaging in continuous learning and professional development. I regularly participate in industry conferences, webinars, and tech meetups to stay informed about the latest trends and innovations. Subscribing to leading tech journals, blogs, and podcasts helps me keep abreast of new developments. I also invest time in new online courses and certifications to deepen my expertise and learn new skills. Networking with peers and joining professional tech communities provides valuable insights and diverse perspectives. Additionally, I consistently experiment with new tools and technologies through personal projects, ensuring my practical skills remain sharp and up to date. This proactive approach ensures I stay ahead of the curve and can effectively apply the latest advancements to my work. Okay, here's the next Intel interview question for you. How would you resolve an issue if members of your team disagreed with your proposal? Now, this question is being asked because they want to evaluate your conflict resolution, teamwork, and communication skills. So make sure you emphasize in your answer, great listening skills, data-driven reasoning, and collaboration, showing that you prioritize team harmony and project success. Okay, here's a great top scoring answer to help you. How would you resolve an issue if members of your team disagreed with your proposal? To resolve an issue when team members disagree with my proposal, I would first listen actively to their perspectives to understand their concerns and viewpoints. I believe in fostering an open and respectful dialogue where everyone feels heard. I would then present data and evidence supporting my proposal, highlighting its potential benefits and addressing any concerns raised. If consensus still isn't reached, I would seek a collaborative solution by incorporating valuable feedback and finding common ground. It's crucial to remain flexible and open to alternative ideas. Ultimately, my goal is to ensure the best outcome for the project and the team, prioritizing a solution that aligns with our objectives and leverages our collective strengths. Okay, here's the next interview question for you. Where do you see yourself in five years time? This is a very common interview question, but one that so many candidates really struggle to get right. Now it's being asked to understand your long-term career goals and to see if they align with the potential growth at Intel. Therefore, it's vital that you match your long-term career goals to that of Intel and you say you want to work with them for the long term, if that's true, because they want to hire people that are committed to Intel's goals and mission and they don't want to have to spend time, money and resources to train up new member of staffs frequently just because you decided the role wasn't for you after two months time. So make sure you show ambition in your answer, show a desire for growth within Intel, aligning your goals with the company's future and value. So let me show you exactly how to do that with this brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself advancing within Intel taking on leadership roles that allow me to drive innovative projects and mentor emerging talent. I aim to deepen my expertise in cutting edge technology and contribute to significant advancements in the industry. My goal is to be an integral part of Intel's mission, collaborating with cross-functional teams 
to deliver impactful solutions that shape the future of computing. I envision myself continuously growing, both professionally and personally, embracing new challenges and making meaningful contributions that align with Intel's strategic objectives and values. Now, in preparation for your Intel interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. Why do you want to leave your current position? That's a really tricky question. What makes you the standout candidate? Again, a really great question, a very tough one to answer and get right. How do you prioritize safety in your projects? How do you deal with a customer complaint? How do you stay current with advancements in Intel technology and practices? Can you tell me about a time when you've had to overcome a challenge in the workplace? Can you tell me about a time when you failed? What is your biggest weakness? How do you handle working under pressure? How would you deal with a member of staff who is not pulling their weight? Can you tell me about a time you utilized attention to detail skills? Can you tell me about a project you are particularly proud of and why? Can you tell me about a time when you managed a process improvement? And finally, what are your strengths? So the next thing to do, if you want to get the full list of all 25 Intel interview questions, and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt, then click that link right now in the top right hand corner of this video for two reasons. The first reason is it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can get all of these answers we just covered, plus a total of 25 brilliant responses to Intel interview questions. And secondly, the next reason is I've given you plenty more Intel interview tips and advice on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews. I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. And if you have any questions, regarding any specific job role, do let me know in the comment section below which job role you are applying for so I can get back to you with even more tailored interview tips and advice. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.